Welcome back, my Planet Coaster friends. Johnny Five Alive here. We're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. Today, I have a very special guest joined with me. Hello. Joined with young Jamie. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Yep, we have a special guest today, young Jamie. Hello. Young Jamie is, uh, what, 12 years old? 13. 13? <laughs> yep. He was inspired to do a raceway by, uh, what, Lauren? Lauren's Cosmic Cow Raceway? Yeah, Lauren's, and then when I noticed you were working on yours, that kind of helped as well. Tell us a little bit about your raceway. You, you decided to get, was it Lauren's Cosmic Cow that you saw and you just started working on this right away? Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw Lauren's video and I was like, I want to build one. And I decided to, pe to pick Pizza Pen, which was one of the worst ideas ever, as there's literally no signs on pizza pen. And we were, we were just talking about that the other week when I was doing Miss, uh, Missy Goods, that uh, these were lacking in some love from Frontier. <laughs> Young Jamie has done a fantastic job with this. By the way, he's one of the smartest 13 year olds I know. Just have to throw that out there. This thing looks fantastic. He was showing me some of the stuff along the way. I helped give him a few ideas and he ran with it. A lot of this you created yourself without even me knowing and then you surprised me with it, right? Yep. And uh, you kind of, from the looks of it, you, you used uh, Lawrence's reference, like the way it pulls out of the station is almost the same. The way it takes off, too. <laughs> uh, I really like this uh, pizza starting line. That's really great. Now, what's amazing here is you've created the Pizza Bandit. Yep, and I'm missing something. <laughs> You're missing something? Yeah, there's no uh, flick on the side. I updated it the blueprint on my workshop but no it's not on them ones flick on the side if you look at the shop there's a flick on the side of the bandit and uh it's not on them signs but it's on the other ones that i've made i'm not sure what you mean go go and go to the top <laughs> okay if you look in the shops down just below the glass you'll see there's a little flick on the side of the piece of sign if you go closer flick on the, on the pizza bandit, look at the look at the mask. You can see there's a little black flick after it. Oh, that, I that, yeah. <laughs> I'm missing that. <laughs> flick. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, the, the, like the knot. But I'm the knot. The, the knot. So can... Right. So yeah. you wanted a knot hanging off the side of the bandit's head. I get it. Flick. I didn't know your uh, terminology there. <laughs> <laughs> I got what you're saying now. So this is absolutely amazing. You got the uh, first, second, and third, and they're standing on pizza boxes as their uh, their, their raceway stands. You even have the sad pizza here. How adorable! So I don't know if you guys know the reference, but when I originally looked at uh, uh, everyone in our group, kind of knows of it because I've talked about it, and a lot of the fans from the show know about it. But when I first looked at this pizza, because it's shaped like this, it it looks like sad pizza. These are the eyes, and this is the mouth. Um, and I even just, my sister pointed this out the other day. There's another sad pizza right here at the bottom. <laughs> you see that now? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a double sad pizza. He's got two faces. Um, it, it, and the reason it looks like that is because you, you would never really look at it this way because you eat a pizza this way, right? It seems kind of strange that they did that, I thought. I don't know. Yeah, so Jamie has gone and made some sad pizzas, and uh, <laughs> the third place guy is sad. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that you gave them arms and stuff. Um, yeah, this building is awesome, by the way. I really like it. The colors are spot on. You got waterfalls. Um, really nice design. I love the vinyl plastic look on buildings. Now, there are some crazy flickering issues. I know you said you didn't see them on your computer, is that right? Um, yeah, it was, I went and fixed them all mine, but... Now, as my little tip of feedback, when I'm building these things, I usually try to make the, the roofs f level with the walls, if that makes sense. So... Yeah. Because the walls will do this weird thing where it wants to be the wall, or the roofs will do this thing where it wants to become the wall. And there is, like, you can kind of flip it sometimes, but it doesn't always work. And it just becomes a bit of a mess. Um, we might actually be able to fix this one by flipping it. Whoops. 
nonetheless, it's fine. I just, I, uh, just for you and anyone else that's watching this, uh, when you're building these things, my, my best suggestion is to make sure that the wall, uh, the roof is stacked on top of the wall. And then you won't run into that issue. It's going to change the, you're not going to have perfect, um, like, It'll be a little bit strange if you have multi-tiers of people walking around, but for these ones, you don't. So it'll just end up being a little bit taller, which is fine. Uh, I, I noticed you added some basic shapes into these trees. Yep. What are these ones supposed to be? I don't know. Like, I, d I don't know. I didn't know what to put around it, so I just put a thing <laughs> through the middle. And I was like, that's fine. <laughs> so, Move on. <laughs> I, I really like the... Because we, we have this thing going where I did the... Um, I did like pickles and tomatoes revolving around my planet, and Lauren did ice creams. And it first started with my um, my King King Coaster Royal Bank, or wherever it was, um, and I did like a cosmic planet thing. And now we're just like changing the planets into vegetables and stuff. Jamie has put a sausage and a tomato. <laughs> Uh, really awesome. You put some pepperonis in these trees. You got a pizza revolving around this one. I like these little pizza slices. These are awesome. Um, yeah, this building's really awesome. Now, I, it, I, I did, I took a peek at this and I, I, when we were setting it up, and I noticed that you didn't have the pizza in here, but you do have the pizza back here. I thought, for some reason, I thought this would have been the pizza parlor. It, it tricks you, right? Because cheap pizza well, pen, you come in here, yeah, a little bit. and you're like, there, there's no pizza in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably maybe, I don't know, you could probably even squeeze one in here. Um, you could even uh, reduce one of these shapes that you don't, I don't think you need all of them. And then you could put the, uh, you could put, you'd have another three pieces. Or you maybe put a shop in here, or you could just switch them around. Um, I don't necessarily, like, you could probably have one drink up here, like a, maybe a pip shop water or something, and then move one of these pizza shops down into the back. Just so you, it, it screams pizza on all the angles. Cause it was a little misleading that you think you're going into the pizza shop. Uh, but this does feel like pizza parlor. It's really cool, and I love this sign, by the way. It's really cool. Uh, for those who don't know, cheese. I think it's supposed. Oh crap! There's no pizza shop in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a. Uh, we found this. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's actually supposed to be chief beef pizza, but it's kind of like covered up, and you don't really see it anywhere else. But I guess it's supposed to be chief beef pizza pen. So in some cases, the, the pizza is the sidekick to the Chief Beef, I guess. It's, or it's like a sub-branch. So he's put the Chief Beef over the Pizza Pen sign. And I thought that was a really clever way of making it look like that. And um, like Jamie said earlier, there's not a lot of options when it comes to pizza. You, they literally give you this pizza sign and this. So I really like how you've used the colors of other signs and intertwined them with your own custom signs and it looks really cool. And these pizza pepperoni spots, uh, really spot on building. I like these little bleachers, they look great. Um, uh, and then uh, let's take a look at everything else. You got a pizza box where they race through. That's pretty epic. <laughs> Some slice missing, it's nice. Um, you got pizza guard towers or whatever they're called. The what are these called? Uh, raceway signs, towers, race towers. You got a laser coming out of the top. Some sci-fi happening here. <laughs> I think there's a red laser that might work better for you than the green. Yeah, the reds were actually no. I they were meant to be red. Them ones were. Uh, there was red and there was red and green, and I have yellow lights and red lights, so green was closest to yellow. And I accidentally kept them all green. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we got a tomato and some cheese being chopped up. That's a really nice knife. Cool cheese block. And the tomatoes next. I like it. So they've got a little boarding station here. Oh, that's the finish line as well. Nice pizza pizza slice for the finish. Really nice boarding station. I think we should open this up. Let the guests start going on. Pretty good ratings. I know from experience making the um, Chief Beef Raceway, it's really hard to get the ratings on these up because what ends up happening is one ends up loading up and waiting here while the other ones are racing around. Um, and it, with this, the game, the way this game does things is Frontier has even said that the wait time will not affect the results, but that is a lie because they've averaged out the overall length versus the excitement. So they didn't 
actually because this is included in the overall duration if that makes sense do you know what i'm trying to say jamie am i making sense yeah yeah so I know what you mean. yeah the fact that this is sitting here waiting it adds to the duration and the it's the duration versus you know the all these other stats and that gives you your excitement rating so i don't know why frontier has come out and said that it doesn't inc it's not included because it's included in the overall duration so what they need to do is they if there's lift times they need to subtract the lift times from the overall duration in order for that to be accurate and excitement ratings would go up so i think it's a little bit of a bug right now because they didn't think about that when they were engineering that little system but hopefully they fix it in this upcoming update <laughs> <laughs> because it's a bit annoying so here's the overall raceway a look at it we all have these different shapes going on mine was a uh, what is it? an oval with a circle yours is kind of the similar it's an oval with two circles and um, Lauren's was a figure eight so very interesting indeed there's a big look at it all um, did I miss anything Jamie do you want to add anything uh not really no I don't think there's anything uh, no. I really no. love the colors. Um, I, I, I am noticing some flickering. I don't know if you knew there are ledge pieces under, under vinyl plastic. I use them a lot. So vinyl plastic is one of my favorites because the way the material absorbs lighting is really clean. It's not really reflective. And um, it, it's really, it takes some of the things when you color them, they look really off. You know how they don't handle colors well. Yeah, it's like some of the reds look like there's just, like there's no texture on it. And if you color them red, it, it fix your flickering issues. And it might just add a little bit more, it might add a little bit more undulation and um, structure to your building. Now the problem with this is they never added in a rounded one, which really bugs me. It drives me nuts. Um, and in order to cap the corners, they've added this weird little thing. And it's upside down by default. You have to turn it. There is a corner on it that you have to find. See, one of them. One of them is shaded differently. See this one? It, it's slightly different. It has a rounded edge. <laughs> so if you want to actually cap these corner pieces, it's a real pain in the butt because you have to manually line this up, and you have to do that for all corners. But once you get it in, if you can get it in. Anyways, you get the idea, right? And it'll hide any of your flickering issues, and it might actually add a little bit more uh, character to the building. I don't know. If you colored that red, maybe? Yeah, it looks better. It's just the pieces. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you're run, running out of parts. Um, if, you, if you did, yeah, I'm just giving you ideas for the future, because if you have this issue where you're just your pillars are stopping and there's some flickering happening there that's how you could cover it up i think you've done a pretty good job here getting it's all exactly 2000 i'm assuming yeah yeah exactly yeah exactly 2000 there you have it all right let's uh what do you say we ride this coaster everybody we got these guys waiting oh i didn't look at it at night time but we'll we'll do that remind me jamie yep i gotta turn my uh volume up here hello Oh, she doesn't look very happy. <laughs> you see her? She doesn't. <laughs> we'll do track view at night, maybe. Very nice. Woohoo! Now we go into lap two. I absolutely love this concept of the dual synchronized coasters. It's so much fun, right? Yep. Fun lining them up with a line up. Oh, which reminds me, I found an awesome way to line them up, and I'm gonna have a tutorial coming out on that. Boom. 
All right, let's check this out at nighttime. Ooh, red and yellow. Very nice. Very suitable. Very vibrant. I like it. Hold on, this one's taken off. Should we do seat view again? It's a little bit better with oh. the... Although track view is smoother. Okay, let's do track view. Love it. That red light took so long to find. An 11 second duration on mine or something? Very nice. Well done, young Jamie. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone understands the reference, but uh, Joe Rogan has a audio engineer and he calls him young Jamie. So I want to talk about this real quick because there's something that is really cool about what you've done here. And you've done a really good job at sort of following a style guide. So uh, young Jamie has followed a style guide and I think it's pretty cool how cohesive these are. And you know what, this was the original one by Riddler Revenge. And I, I noticed some people were saying comments that they liked how this one, inter it was more like a coaster than it was a raceway. Like it leaned more towards being a coaster because it's doing all the spaghetti mess. But at the same time, Lauren made a good argument saying like, you can't see the race because of all the trees. And um, it's, it's very much less of a raceway like this because there's no raceways that are designed going through trees and like that. Um, and I kind of agreed to that, but nonetheless, it's still really good and it still follows a certain style guide. So Lauren made hers a little bit more open and, but still kind of included the, uh, you know, the outer walls and stuff like that. She coming up with a new style. And I really like that. I like the openness of it, being able to see the track from all angles and, um, yeah, I, it still has all the twists and turns that a coaster should have. This one might have a little bit more angular turns and stuff, but it's not ever really flipping. It's, you know, and it's not going up too high. And same with Chief Beef, this one, you know, it, it's it's very much open like a raceway. And it still does all these crazy things that a coaster would do. And it has all these harsh turns and crazy banks and um, big dips. Uh, this one just is a little bit higher than the rest and a little bit more wild in its turns so but i feel like that fits the coffee theme because the coffee's like you know caffeine powered it's crazy it's all over the place it's high energy right so um but they all nonetheless have a s style so riddler revenge did this the, the coffee one um lauren slash jubilante did the cosmic cow i did the chief and jamie has done the pizza pen and you've matched the fences I, I have similar fences as well, um, the, the, like the color scheme, they, they all work, they all kind of match their own universe, I guess, or their, their branding. Um, we all have kind of similar stations, we, we all did our own little thing, she did a freezer room, you did like a little pizza parlor thing, and you have a pizza parlor here, um, Lauren has an a ice cream parlor, and I have a, a retro burger diner, so it's that's kind of like the style guide for these and you know i want to see more of these in the future because they all work together and we're going to be i'm going to be adding a collection to my workshop where we can just keep building this out until we have all the different raceways um so if you if anyone's like curious or wants to build one of these or you know wants to follow the style this is kind of like the rule of thumb, I'd say, like the fences, the way we've done the track layouts and um, having like a little parlor, 
you know, getting something that's a hero piece. Like, for Lawrence, this is the hero piece. And I, like, you know, there's something that screams the theme. Ice cream, a big cow, um, and then, you know, Riddler has foxy stuff, but his is more about, like, it looks like a Starbucks coffee shop. That's his hero piece. It looks like a Starbucks. And then mine, I have the retro diner and the guard tower. And then Jamie did, did the pizza parlor and the big pizza guys. So they, they all have their own hero piece. And, uh, and then they all have their own, like, similar wall designs using different colors. And, you know, everyone has a different take on how they do their signs. And that's kind of like we all just veer off and do our own unique design to them. But overall, they all work together and they all fit cohesively, which is really awesome. Yep, yep, <laughs> they do. So yeah, uh, I definitely use these as a reference point if you're interested in making raceways. And I have a tutorial coming up, or it might be out already, depending on when I release this video, of how to do the synchronized raceway. Because I've taken what these guys have done and I've sort of figured out the timing so that it's less of a headache because I know every one of us have struggled doing this <laughs> and I've, I've actually figured out a formula that uh, you can actually get them to leave at the exact same time because um, it's really painful to time it and I've also got a trick where you can line these up perfectly without no headache because uh, I know everybody struggled lining these up I'm sure you did right yeah yeah <laughs> a lot so come check that out on my channel, guys. And uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I think you did a fantastic job, Jamie. Thank you. Yeah, great work. So links will be down in the description below if you want to download Jamie's pizza pen, as well as check out his workshop. And I'll be adding a collection so you can download all four of these to my workshop. So links will be down below for that as well. All right. And I think that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, Jamie. Thank you. I don't know why I say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye now bye now <laughs>